Today I want to see if the laser source is going to fire. Uh, let's get all the mirrors aligned and then build the doors and cut out all the body panels and get those installed. Let's go! I want to try manually pulsing the laser for the first time. If you can see here, I've taped up a MDF disc here in the laser path and I've removed all the uh, beam expander and all the mirrors, everything out of the way. So this is just straight from the laser source. I'm ready to start trying to attempt to align the beam expander and the beam combiner. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but here's my plan. Uh, I found this old drawer and I've clamped it up to the I-beam, taped my MDF disc on there we just tested. And I'm gonna try to fire the laser um, without anything on it, see where it hits. Then I'll attach the beam expander and uh, see if we can get it to hit in the same spot. Then we'll move forward from there and try and do the same thing uh, with the beam combiner. I guess the question is, have I uh, placed that in the right place that I'm gonna hit the disc? Or am I gonna burn a hole in my computer monitor back there? Uh, wish me luck. All right, it looks like we hit the disc, good. All right, I'm gonna touch the beam expander back in here. Let's see uh, how close to alignment it is. You can see it's a bit off, so let me make some uh, adjustments with the adjustment screws and see if we can get closer. All right, looks like I didn't move it enough. Let me make some more adjustments. I fiddled around with that for about 15 minutes and both dots hit right there. I think now I need to remove this first mirror mount to get it out of the way so we can line up the red dot. And I need to remove this mirror mount so I can actually get the mirror in there. I don't think I can reach it otherwise. Okay. Let's see if we can drop in this mirror Let's look for the arrow. I'm gonna drop this back in here. Try to get everything as lined as I can tell, and then we'll try firing it. I am not a fan of how this red dot laser mounts. It is so finicky. You can try tightening and loosening the screws to adjust the position, and it just goes all over the place. Let's see if we can install this first mirror. All right, it's in. Let's put it on the machine. It's kind of difficult to show this, but I've taped a little cardboard disc in the second mirror mount, and I'm gonna use that to align the red dot here before I tighten it down. It looks pretty centered there. Let me jog the machine forward and backwards and see if there's an incline or decline. It looks like up and down it's pretty good, but it's not perfect uh, tracking left or right. So it looks like I need to move my second mirror in a little bit probably to get it in line. I've been playing around with the alignment between the first and second mirror and I think I finally got it spot on. Let's go ahead and get this second mirror installed. It looks like it's hitting the hole in all four corners, so let's go ahead and install the third mirror. I'm going to go ahead and remove the nozzle here while we see if we can get it centered. I can see the red dot looks a little off, so let me make some adjustments here. I 
the beam looks like it's pretty well lined vertically. Um, I'm not going to go crazy getting it perfect because my table's still not secured, so it wobbles a little bit. Um, but it's pretty close. Let's go ahead and install the focusing lens. I had the laser power set at 5% and it left a nice little detailed line here. So, all right, let's move on. So doing that initial alignment definitely took some time. You can see all my test shots. Um, I'd cut out these little cardboard discs for aligning my other machine and those were really useful. But uh, next time doing this, it should go much faster since everything's pretty close. I'm sure once I move the machine around and get it on the base and stuff, I'll need to go through this process again. So I think what I want to do next is work on the bed so we can finish this up so I can set up the auto height sensor and all that. Um, but um, why I put the vent hole up here on the top is that um, rather than covering the whole floor and metal panels, um, since this is going to be permanently attached to the base, I think what I'm going to try doing is just um, putting the metal floor right up under the bed here. There should be like maybe a three inch gap underneath the cutting pieces. So there'll be some area for the smoke and uh, air and stuff to go. Um, but anyway, with it, with the, if that's gonna be covered, um, you know, all the smoke will kind of remain up here on the top side. So hopefully the vent um, will work better up there. Another benefit I think of doing it this way will be that um, I, won't, I won't really need to protect the belts or anything because the la laser will never come down here. So I don't know, I've never seen it done that way, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So that means I need to get these two uh, panels cut out. That was kind of a pain working upside down, but uh, you can see the floors in here. So I guess now I need to get these uh, brackets on the ball screws uh, attached to the bed and get the bed leveled. Everything's attached now. So now I think uh, we can try to level the bed. I took some initial measurements and I think I'll probably just kind of average it and try to make them all be about 38 millimeters. I played around with the adjustments for a little bit and everything looks like it's within maybe half a millimeter or less. Um, so that should be pretty good. I don't think I probably need to break out the dial indicator for this. Hopefully this is the last time I have to cut out any extrusion for this project. Got everything marked out here so we can start making the door panels. Have all the parts ready so I'm going to go ahead and assemble this lower access door. I have everything laid out here to assemble the top door. I'm going to get this all put together and test fit it, and then I'll cut out the acrylic panels. I've got the top door on here for a test fit, and it looks pretty good. Scraping slightly right here. I need to center it. I don't think it's perfectly centered. But, um, yeah, that should work pretty well. Uh, I need to get my acrylic panels cut out, and I have some gas struts that uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to install. I was just test fitting the gas struts to see how they're going to mount on here. 
and it looks like their mounting brackets hold them down a little bit too low where the laser head can hit them. So looks like I'll be making my own. These new mounts look like they're gonna work way better, so I'm gonna get them installed on the machine. The gas struts are installed. Seems like they're gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and wait to adjust the position until after I get the acrylic on here, since that'll change the weight. This should be the last job I ever run on this guy, and I'm hoping to sell it. Uh, I have some cast acrylic sheets here, so let's cut out the front panels. It looks like everything's going to fit. I have all the acrylic panels installed for the door. feels pretty good, except I need to adjust the position of the gas struts. Um, I'm going to wait to do that once I get it on the stand so I can see how much clearance I have uh, before the ceiling. That should be the rest of the body panels to complete the machine. Um, I only had one mishap, one of the small pieces. I had a measurement wrong and had recut that, but everything looks great now. So I'm going to go ahead and get these on the machine for a test fit. Um, I'll end up taking a few of them off uh, to move the machine, but I'm going to make sure everything works first.
All right, last panel. All the panels are installed. Everything fits pretty well. Um, boy, it's going to be a joy to take this all back apart to uh, paint everything black. Here's from the front side. I have some dust screen mesh filter material arriving today, so I'll have to take this panel back off and I'll attach the mesh screen underneath these holes. Also today I have some magnetic hatches arriving so I can make this door stay closed. We're almost done with this part of the build. Thanks for everybody's feedback on the whole dilemma. After much deliberation, I decided to just make it into a place to hook my safety glasses. There we go, custom dust screen. Let's go get this installed. I've removed this top panel, installed the filter screen. So I'm gonna put it back on the machine now. Mesh dust screen is installed. I've installed some magnetic catches, so the bottom door will close now. Well, the machine's pretty much done. Now I wanna get the base built for it so I can get it installed in there permanently. I'll probably do another quick mirror alignment, and then let's start doing some test cuts and, and see how this machine performs. I also want to do some comparisons to my old machine and see if there's any quality differences. Um, yeah, so I think we can wrap this up in one more video. Um, thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this project possible. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.